what is up guys mtg of mtg reviews and today as you can see we have this nice looking toyota corolla gr so this is the gr body kit you can see the bumper here it's different it's more aggressive and then you can see the lights fully led and then we have these led fog lights nice as well they light up nice at night and then the wheels are blacked out these are 18 inches opposed to the 17s that you get standard on the standard one so this for for this one you have to bump up the cheese so here we have the gr gr badge on the side blacked out mirrors so this is a two-tone color as you can see it's a black top red bottom and then on the back the bumper is slightly different we have some black piano blacks here it's it's nicer it's nicer in every way actually uh from the back it's not that much different but then it is different as you can see it's a cross corolla cross nice so yeah i think we, we can get inside or oh, outside we have roof rails here so you can put things here you don't you don't have to buy them um uh, optional or extra they come standard on this one because it's a cross so they should so yeah let's get inside all right getting into the interior as you can see let's start with the steering wheel um okay we have buttons here these are the directional buttons which you can use to select so you want to call someone you use them and then the volume up button and then the volume down their speech recognition system it's basically useless okay let me show you open my window sorry could you repeat that nah so even if i repeat that it's still yeah, it's not that it's it's yeah, it's not like the newer ones that you get in the BMWs where you can do things. This one is only for saying call hoo hoo and it's going to do that. And here on the other side, we have the cruise control here. You just press here and then here to increase and decrease the speed. This is the adaptive cruise. So it's going to break by itself, um, judging from the car in front and then the lane keep assist and then the avoidance, the collision avoidance. So it's going to break by itself here. You're going to keep at your lane. It's going to help you do that. And yeah. When I press, let me press the link keep assist. See, it says it's on, it's active, and then I switched it off. And then the collusion, yeah, it doesn't show here, but yeah, it's on. And yeah, this is digital. These are analog. This is analog as well. But yeah, it's a clean looking car. The infotainment system, yeah, it's not that nice. It's not volume here and then to tune scroll it's an old infotainment system i think it dates back maybe to like say 2014 around there and it's still here now this is the home screen as you can see it's not nice menu this is everything that you have this is everything that you have on the menu so it's only one two three four applications that you have and let's go to display so <sighs> you can see man it's not it's not Toyota should have done more and then this is when you've connected your bluetooth this is what you can see when you're playing music through bluetooth you can connect apple carplay and android auto though i've failed doing that i've failed decimally so i won't even try to do that you see I... so it's here on miracast and it uses wi-fi then i say yes but then my phone everything i tried it with the wi-fi on and off and then with the hotspot on and off i couldn't find it so yeah that's it with that and then going to the gear knob i like this you press here, here there's a button here at the in the front or the back you just and then you engage so as you can see we have a uh, park reverse neutral and drive and then you can use manual as well and then the traction control of button here which is nice and then climate control which is an automatic climate control nice buttons here everything is still here on it's it's physical so it's a dual um climate control you can i can set it on this side and this side it stays low or i can set it high on this side let me show you it's on high and then here it can be low so the, the passenger gets a different uh kind of climate uh from it's blowing too much the the passenger is getting a different one from the driver so yeah that's it with that so let's switch it off nice you can switch it off actually so yeah that's it with the dashboard and how it looks let me show you the seats actually so as you can hear it's beeping that's classic toyota so just for me opening the door and the ignition is not even on 
but then it's beeping like crazy so here's another thing about toyota you can just you see this thing you just press it it's gonna think that the door is closed so yeah it's not oh now it's at a stop beeping but then it's still you can see let me see let me show you door closed but it's not closed but you just press this and then you leave it and then door open so the seats leather seats nice looking seats so these are automatic seats as you can see you can move back and then you can adjust them basically automatic seats no lumbar adjustments though so it's just the front and back and then the back rest as well and then we have the gr embossed here as you can see gr and then another gr is here at the start button start stop button nice touches actually they didn't like really lack out and then you can push this you can open it and then you can slide it so it's, it's nice nice adjustability let's get to the back seats oh, back seats now well, that's spacious say if i was sitting at the front let me show you how much space i would be having at the back oh it actually is it is the for the, the front seat is fully uh, adjusted to the back so it's that far as far as it gets to the back so these seats have like a curve so that you have knee space so i can i can deal with this actually it's it's fine but then i prefer sitting like this on any car so it doesn't matter anyway but then you do have knee space and then you have air vents here at the back you don't have your own zone of climate control so you can't change your own temperature but then you can control the fans as you should and then here we have type c charging ports two of them the back nice amenity and then does this this should be uh, dropping off as well it does and we have two cup holders here this is a nice touch man but then the problem with the, about it it doesn't have that loop that's gonna help you you just have to like stick your fingers it's a nitpick but then it's something you just have to stick your fingers there and then pull it out and i can't really complain much man and then the door card we have a cup holder and then we can open a window here it's good cup holder is fairly up it's not that usual but i feel like this is more convenient than having it down down there so having it up here is more usable because not really a lot of people use cup holders on the door card they use this one and then on the front they use the ones that are actually the ones that are here so yeah oh one thing i didn't explain is the hand brick situation it's not a hand it's a leg so there you basically push it you you don't push it you like you step on it and then it's gonna be engaged now it's engaged and then when you step it on again it, dis it disengages so just have to get used to that as you can see here we don't have a handbrake it's a free space cup holders no electric handbrake it's manual it's a pedal it's like u.s cars most u.s cars are like that and then here we have the fuel cap opener I don't know why Toyota doesn't make it like as in like VWs or BMWs when the car is unlocked. You can just like press on it and then it opens. But yeah, it is what it is. In all, this is a good interior, but then it's led down by the infotainment system. Everything is good, is well laid out and everything. But then I believe the infotainment system is outdated. And then the digital gauge cluster, the partly digital gauge cluster should be fully digital. For the price that you get for this because it comes at the price and then the sunroof at least have a sunroof standard on the cross corolla um yeah but then it's it's very good the materials materials where you touch it's nice the leather here it's nice with the red red stitching so there's actually a, a very good car now let's cover the cost of ownership this car is a base price of 500,200 rands. So at an interest rate of 12% over six years with no deposit, the installment would be 9,871 rands monthly. And now factoring in the petrol and insurance at an estimate of 2,000 each, that would be 4,000 both of them. So the total would be 13,871 rands. And then it would go down to 12,000 890 rands with 10 percent deposit so yeah it is quite costly my verdict on this car i think you should buy it if you're not really like looking for um the modern technology or those type of things you just want a reliable car but then for its price there's some 
things that are outdated but then it's still a reliable car we know that it's a toyota it's gonna like last you for long so if you don't really care about the infotainment system and then some other few bits there and there totally get this car man it's a it's a good car i think it's the best looking on its class so my verdict is just just get it if you don't care about the infotainment so it's yeah it's just like that so thank you catch you on the next one